What's up, wave makers? It's me, Mommy Suna. I need a new G-string. And you guys, I am so excited about today's video. I had so much fun filming it and so much fun editing it, and I'm excited to finally show it to you. But before we do, we have a new sponsor for this channel. Yay! I am honored and excited to tell you about Verb Energy. This little guy right here is powered by organic green tea. They're freaking delicious. This is the cookie butter flavor. But they sent me one of their starter packs and like samples of like most of their other flavors flavors so I've tried most of them and I can honestly say that they're freaking yummy but this is the first time I'm trying the cookie butter one oh yeah it's good they have like a banana one that they sent me I think was my favorite chocolate chip banana bread that's the one I had that's like so good I recommend that one for sure anyway let's talk about it what is verb energy what are these little bars well they're designed to shake that 2 p.m slump y'all know what I'm talking about each little bar is just 90 calories and they have just as much caffeine as a shot of espresso but they don't give you the shakes right after verb reached out to me at like the perfect time of my life because I just had a baby he's four months old y'all most of you guys know this anyway and that obviously means I'm not sleeping as well as I could but verb energy helps me avoid that like midday feeling like I need to take a nap and I can't take a nap because I can't just stop being a mom for a couple hours to take a nap you know what I mean yeah, the past few months have just been like midday exhaustion every day and it's really hard to manage with a newborn let me tell you I think what I really like about these bars obviously they give me energy but like I think they all have like a crispy rice on the inside so like there's a nice little crunch to the texture and obviously they taste really good they come in 11 different flavors at the moment so there's really something for everyone there but here's the best part right now through memorial day so the day this video comes out through monday you can get their starter kit for 65 percent off and that makes it only eight dollars and 95 cents so what this includes is a 12 bar pouch in whatever flavor you want and then four samples of their other delicious flavors for eight dollars and 95 cents this is legit the cheapest price they've ever given their starter pack out for so i I highly recommend that you take advantage of it. You can only get the special price at my special link down below and it's only valid for the next four days. So let's freaking go. Thanks again to Verb Energy for sponsoring this video. Nam. Don't forget, link down below. Let's go. And now you get to see my first ever like legit collab. I reached out to Mac Attack because I just think he's so funny. I immediately felt like I'm like, this person is someone who I would vibe with so well. And I don't think he has enough subscribers. So first of all, you guys are gonna fall in love with him. After you watch this video, make sure you go subscribe to Mac Attack because I think he'll be your new favorite anti MLM YouTuber. I'm glad that he agreed to be on my channel. I'm glad to have let him be on my channel. We had a really fun time with this. Also, I do just want to apologize that my camera was like out of focus for most of the video. I was moving around so much, but hopefully it doesn't bother you guys as much as it bothers me. <laughs> also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. That is what helps me and my channel the very, very most out of anything that any of you could ever do. That's just the algorithm's best friend. So thank you for doing that. And I have new merch. All that's down below too. It's cute. I really like it. All right, let's go. I wanted to bring you in here because I know you have a background in, what is it, biology? No, what do you, pharmacy. Yeah, biology and pharmacy. So you're definitely, way smarter than me in general. I just spit on my microphone, ew, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna start off easy, N nothing too crazy here. We'll start with essential oils, how about that? Okay, sounds good. So I don't know if you've seen these, but uh, as you can see, this woman is putting essential oils on the hair elastics, elastics on her daughter's hair to get them out. What? Because who needs to pull the elastics out of their hair, right? Right. Like, what? <laughs> Aren't there like so many other things that would work for this? Like, how could that have anything to do with the fact that it's an essential oil? Well, so here's what freaks me out about this is that she's using lemon essential oil, right? Uh -huh. Which people are consuming this. They're putting it <sighs> in their water. They're eat they are putting this shit in their stomach and you're like watching it dissolve fucking plastic. Oh, uh, yeah, cause it's like lemon is probably like, like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> what, 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 what happened to just putting a lemon in your water? What happened to just putting a lemon on your hair? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she always like slices lemons. Hey, between doTERRA over here and Monet, we're putting mayonnaise in our hair. We're putting butter in our hair. Uh -huh. We're putting oils in our hair. We could make a freaking salad. Yeah. A butter salad. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> butter 
red lemon. <laughs> Delicious. I just want to know, like, does she think that, like, it's the fact that it's lemon essential oil is what's making it come out of the hair easier? Like, does it have to be lemon? Would it have worked if it were peppermint? I don't think it would have worked if it were peppermint. Well, maybe. Peppermint's crazy on its own. But, like, I think it might be acidity, like... Yeah! See, that's my problem with this, is, like, either it doesn't work, in which case you're just putting a bunch of expensive shit in your hair. Yes. Or, like, or if it does work... What is in that? Uh huh. Like, what is it doing? It's, it's all natural, Mac. You're oh, overthinking it. Oh, it's natural. That's what's going uh, on. <laughs> you know what else is natural? Malaria. <laughs> You are not wrong. And you know what this makes me think of too? And it's sad because like this is a child, obviously. My parents used to use sun in on their hair. Do you know what sun in mm. is? Isn't it that stuff you spray and it like bleaches it? Pretty much, yeah. It's like, it's literally like lemon juice. Seriously? Yeah, it's like lemon juice. That shit makes your hair turn different colors. Yeah, which means that it's gotta be damaging it. Right, and she's putting it on her kid's head. Yeah, like, and plus like the scalp is like so sensitive. Like, it, it, like that can't be good. Like, you know, you have all kinds of glands up there. Like, what are you doing? There's so much wrong with this that it makes me like actually upset. Yeah, I, like me too. Like, <laughs> I, I don't understand. <laughs> this poor baby. Like, it, it just makes no sense. Can we stop putting untested things on, on children? In general, just. Let me, let me just go to my back. Background here. You know, in pharmacy, we have this idea that usually a medication's tested on adults first. We don't usually test things out on kids until like we've already tested it on adults. Like, right. come on. Like, COVID Ugh. vaccine is literally an example of that right now. A real world example. Yeah. It's just got approved for like adolescents and like it's on its still on its way. You can't just test stuff on kids. But here come the Huns. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna put it all over my children. They know better. They know better than us. They know everything. They really do. <laughs> I mean, wow. Well, while we're on the topic of essential oils, lemon essential oil, actually, I have another lemon essential oil video. Um, this oh. one is not as upsetting, but uh, this one you can see she's using it to get rid of permanent marker on a folder that presumably probably costs about 97 cents. And how much is this oil? Exactly, exactly. I'm like, why don't you just buy a new fucking folder? Yeah, like, just get a new folder. Like, what are you doing? And also, okay, so if this erases permanent marker. I don't usually put things that erase permanent marker in children's hair. Right, yeah, uh-huh. Isn't it like rubbing alcohol, they say, can do the same thing as this, though? Yeah, or maybe or maybe like acetone, like nail polish yeah. remover, probably. And I guess you wouldn't That's put I... that in a kid's hair, either. Yeah, but... I don't think so. Still. Because it would burn like but... crazy. Oh my god, and it could catch on fire. I mean, this makes me wonder if, like, if I cut a lemon in half and, like, rub it on the folder, <laughs> will that do the same thing? I mean, it, that's more exfoliating. To, where's the oil come from? Like the peel or like? I don't know. It probably comes from the peel because like when, that's because that's what makes it smell. Like if you scratch like. Yeah, yeah. The, when you zest a lemon. Maybe you don't even slice the lemon. Maybe you just like. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up just rub a lemon. It would smell good at least. Which is what essential oils are supposed to do. It's supposed to just be like, it smells good. Yeah, what's up? Aromatherapy. That's about it. I just love this in my teeth. Tea, there's really no way to get lemon flavor in my tea without lemon essential oil. Oh my god. Oh, it makes me so upset, dude. Like, because it's... seriously, like, my sister-in-law is uh, in Young Living, and I was at Ugh. her house one day, and I watched her fucking do it! She was, uh, like, it wasn't just lemon. She put, like, a mixture of things. I think she did, like, one drop lemon, one drop lime, one drop orange, like, all the citruses make your water taste yummy. Which also doesn't make sense to me that Huns do this, because oil, like, and water don't mix? You probably have to like either keep shaking it or something like. I mean, I guess so, yeah, because either that or you're just gonna get a mouthful of just oil. And I just, I don't understand. Okay, it's all natural, unlike lemons, limes, <laughs> and oranges. Like, <laughs> no, those are all GMOs, Mac. Come on. And also, you can buy little those little things of like lemon juice and lime juice and that would actually dissolve. But that makes me want to like try this shit. Because I mean, I have the little hair elastics. I have a daughter. To like see what happens. Throw yeah. them in some pure lemon juice and just see. I mean, maybe over time it would erode shit like this and this is more of a instantaneous. I don't know if it's actually 
like breaking it down. I feel like it's just because like the oil is is like viscous and that's just lubricating the elastic and that's why it's coming out. Well, the elastic ones, it looked like they were breaking. Like where she Really? Yeah, here I'll, I'll go back. We'll look, Let look, me look. see it again. Yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. see it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. It's on my phone, so. No, you're good. See, look, they like snap. <gasps> I know! And it'll do that to plastic! What is it doing to the kid's head? I thought she pulled them out. No, 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 baby. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no, that shit's Shut snapping the front out. Door. I know! It's so bad. That's gonna like eat through her hair. That's what I'm saying. But then she brushes through it like it's just no big deal. Uh-uh, no, it's fine. Um, no. It's like something is wrong there. I'm so upset. Me too. Welcome to Hun Science. <laughs> All right. Well, I have one more essential oil video we can watch. This one I think is just kind of dumb. Do you know how upsetting it is for me to live near doTERRA and Young Living. I don't even I drive past them. I don't even want to know. There, I'm tr what? Oh my god. One of the MLMs has a headquarters in Arizona, like in like Chandler or something or Gilbert, but I don't remember which one it is. I want to say Isogenics, I think. I have that here, but that's it, I think. And I know you're in Utah. But so <laughs> but let's be real the reason that that one's probably there is still probably mormons from utah yeah i mean i mean we're <laughs> in the same general part of the country anyway yeah. so <laughs> here's the last essential oil one i have i'm so excited does thieves actually work let's <sighs> <sighs> get so sick of here we bring out the bread. Why are, why are we putting everything on bread? Because bread is hair, bread is skin, bread is life. Okay. And as you can see, I guess there's no mold on it. Can we, can we, can we, can't, can, can we see where, where, where she put the drop of oil? Uh, I want to know can, if she's, if she's checking where she put it. Okay, so there's like that big hole okay. like in the bread where she put a drop, right? Yeah, so sh she put it in like a little crevice. Yeah, okay, I mean, but here's the thing, and, and I think maybe you might have more information on this because of your background in biology, but on one of my old Hun Science videos, there was someone who was like testing bacterial growth or whatever. This girl is testing mold growth? Mold growth. Right, so isn't, there's a difference, right? I mean, one is like more right, of active yeah. culture and one is... They're different, you know, like kingdom phylum class order, like they're different kingdoms. Bacteria are as different from fungus as we are from plants. Yeah, okay. There's only like like specific like things you get infected with fungus with like there's like you know like yeast infection or like you don't usually get a lot of fungal infections other than like on skin I guess like so I don't know why she's testing this with mold so is and I've mold never fungal what is mold yeah. Okay. It's a fungus. Okay. Yeah. So the video that I watched before, the guy was testing, I want to say it was like chicken breast. Like he rubbed it, like the bacteria Ugh. from chicken breast on it. And it grew, it still grew bacteria. She's like, does yeah. thieves actually work? And it's like. Well, we're not trying to kill funguses. If I rub chicken breast on my counter and put thieves oil on it, it ain't going to do shit. And that's gross. I would like to see her rub a chicken breast on her counter, put thieves on it, and then eat off of it, ew, baby. Ew. Ew, 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 I want to see it too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want to see you get salmonella. It's going to be amazing. So here's the thing is like, if you are getting like a systemic fungal infection, there's something wrong with your immune system. That doesn't normally happen. Like the only time you ever see that is like in hospitals, like with people who are like super immunocompromised. Like you're not getting infected from bread. I hate when I'm just like, oh God, my eye is so moldy today. <laughs> Let me just scrape the mold right off of it. I didn't refrigerate my eye. Oh shit, I forgot to refrigerate my eye again. Okay, so I guess it stops mold from growing. What does that have to do with anything? According to other like scientific tests, it doesn't stop other things from growing. So like for her to be like, does thieves work? Uh, yep, clearly it does. It's like, okay, it works for one thing and not for another. Yeah. It's like if I put like, I don't know, olive oil in my car instead of motor oil, you know, like, <laughs> it, yeah, motor oil works for one thing, but I'm not gonna put it in my food. I I, as a human, am more likely to get infected by like bacteria, which we've seen it doesn't work on. And also, what were they implying that this would work on? They were implying it would oh, work on COVID cool. before. Oh, yeah. Back yeah, in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't see anything proving that this is going to do anything to a virus. So, right. Yeah. As a human, I usually get infected with bacteria and viruses. So, until you can prove me that, like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and they can't because it doesn't. And then, yeah, like, what are you gonna do? Put fucking thieves oil on your bread before you eat it? Is that what they're gonna- 
Like, no, they're gonna they're gonna put lemon oil. <laughs> put olive oil on bread, not lemon oil Ooh. or essential oil. I put agree. And then toast that oil. shit. A little bit of garlic. So we can move on from uh, essential oils. Uh, let's move on to Monet. I got a lot of Monet. Yes! Yes! This one I just titled Apple is Hair. Oh my God, this is gonna piss me off. So today we're doing something a little different. We are doing a little bit of a science experiment. And I'm doing this experiment for a couple of different reasons. So today I have an apple with me and I'm gonna show you guys what is coated on the outside of this apple without us even knowing it. And I'm also going to compare it to what is on your hair right now without you even knowing it. So first things first, get a knife. Second, get an apple. We're gonna start shaving and just mind you, this is straight from HEB. It's been washed under water. Um, and as you see, can see here, there's a white wax that we don't even know that was there. Um, we just, you know, bite right into our produce. And is that coming. is all that's coming out of there. And this is all over, I could do this all day. It's all over that apple. So I've been scrubbing at the apple for a little while now. And as you can see, tons of wax is coming off. You can see that all there. And the reason why I wanted to show you guys this is because, you know, obviously there's things in our produce that we don't see right, right off the bat. Um, sometimes you have to scrape and sometimes you have to clarify um, that produce. Same with our hair, you guys. Without you even knowing it, you could be having so much product build up on your hair strands. It's not seen by the eye. So a lot of your drugstore products, they have silicone-based ingredients in them. That's because it gives an immediate effect, it gives an immediate shine, but it's just weighing down your hair. It's not able to penetrate, it's just sitting on top. So if you were able to get this knife and do this to your hair, same thing would happen, I promise. Proof. It's what proof. The hell? What are you? No. <laughs> um. So if you're experiencing damage, breakage, maybe you, your hair feels super weighed down. Maybe your hair's not growing. It's because this stuff is clogged up in your pores, right? And so, it's so important to know the difference between a product that has those silicone buildup properties versus a product that doesn't. Um, your hair is not able to get the nutrients, the moisture, and everything that it needs if it is completely blocked by that wax buildup. Um, you know, there's so many different ingredients that can be disguised as silicones or silica products, um, but just know that almost every single cheaper drugstore brand has this in there because like I said, it's a, you know, quick, let's give you some shine kind of look. But then again, it's weighing your hair down, it's damaging it, and your hair is not getting what it needs. So. Keep that in mind, you guys. I have products that will clarify and break all of that buildup off so that your natural hair is exposed and your hair can get the nutrients that it needs. What do we think? Oh my God, I have so many problems. I don't know what you're talking about. That seemed pretty straightforward, Mac. Hair is apple. I you know, it's the funniest thing. My my hair is not being put on the shelf for sale at the old uh, grocery store, so they don't usually wax up my hair <laughs> so that it looks nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this? Like, what do you mean? Like the same thing is on my hair? Like, do you think it probably isn't the same? kind of wax, no. right? If you're actually scraping shit off of there and it's not like, you know, skinned flakes <laughs> that are in there, you know, if you're scraping stuff off, it's probably product that is supposed to be in there that you put in there like a styling product or something. Like, Well, see, that's the thing that the, the money Huns like to argue is that they like to say that that stuff is not supposed to build up on your hair. It causes <laughs> build up, blah, 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 blah. Which, I mean, <laughs> I think there might be some validity to. Uh, Maybe, in, yeah. On that end, I'm not a professional hairstylist so I don't know, but I'm Me pretty either. sure that like it's better for your hair if products aren't like staying there. And then there's like the whole like right. clarifying shampoos that you can use and those things will pull all that build up off. I don't know. There's like a whole thing, but yeah, but like how do we get from that? <laughs> 
to it being the same as the wax that is on produce. Imagine being like a disbeliever and you watch this video and you go, you know what? She changed my mind. I'm sold. Oh my. She's right. Holy shit. There's produce wax in my hair. Holy shit. I haven't been scraping my apples before I eat them this whole time. Wait, did she, did she, I have to make sure that she actually said this. Did she actually say that you need to clarify your produce? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure she did say that. Yeah. I've heard of clarifying hair. Uh-huh. I've never heard of... <laughs> Do you like, clarify your produce before you eat it? Well, see, usually I use like a, a quick blue with like a 40 volume developer on my apples, <laughs> but you got to clarify it first. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know about you, but I usually put lemon essential oil on my apples before I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because so I like that. I, you know what? You're not supposed to compare apples and oranges, but you're allowed to compare apples and hair. Yeah. I got so much anxiety with the knife by the hair. Uh, well, I think that one was like they were using scissors, which I don't know if that makes it any better or not, but... <laughs> Oh, it was just, it was one side of the yeah, scissors and it was like, yeah. this also drives me nuts when they're talking about like all the nutrients that your hair needs. Uh -huh. Your hair's dead. <laughs> dead i mean i can't feel it yeah I, my like, my hair doesn't have nerves yeah, like your fall your follicle is alive right. but that has like a blood supply right. to it right. like what are you what? i don't get it my hair doesn't need vitamins it's dead all i've learned so far today is that apples are hair so you know let's stick to comparing apples to hair and apple stuff hairs is apples it is apples it is. Here's another one. This is another Mon 8 oh, one. I'm so excited. This one's kind of gross. Why do they always have the dump? Ew! <laughs> So clearly this girl has some dandruff issues. Oh my gosh, if you can hear Griffin crying, I'm sorry. He's having a fit downstairs. Kid, yeah, kids do that. Yeah, he's with his dad. So she's washed twice. And now, wow, what do you know? Magically, no more dandruff. Also, she's got dandruff still in her comb. Ew. <laughs> okay, but, okay, number one, yeah. wash your comb. <laughs> First and foremost, please wash your comb. Second of all, she's been using Monet for however long and she still has these dandruff issues. So is it really working? And also, well, I mean, okay, so I'm assuming that this was like before and after. So she had all that dandruff, she took a shower and then she didn't have it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you washed all the cure your legs off. <laughs> yeah. See, this is one thing I know, I know like a little bit about, like, because once you're getting into treating dandruff, that is a pharmaceutical product because like head and shoulders is a, like that is a drug. It doesn't work in one application. Like you have to use it for like a period of like weeks because it's an anti-fungal. Oh yeah, there you go. Is that what, okay. So dandruff is caused by fungal shit? It tends to be, yeah. Like it tends to be like, there's some kind of like spores or whatever that are up there and it's causing like more oil release and then your skin starts flaking. Oh. Yeah, it sounds really gross, but like it's kind of like, you know, there's always microbes all over the place, but yeah, that's usually what's causing it. Cause like it's an antifungal that's in head and shoulders. Oh, okay. That's what makes it work. Which is why that didn't cure your dandruff. You probably just rinsed out all the flakes, girl. Hold on, let me see what it was that she used. I think it was their hair mask, scalp purifying with rejuvenate. Yeah, how is that gonna help anything? Well, I'm wondering what is this, is this supposed to be one of their hair masks? Because like, yeah, why would that help? I mean, scalp purifying. What does that mean? <laughs> it's probably like clarifying kind of. To be fair, I think everything in Monet is generally considered to be clarifying if they're always- <laughs> That's true. Well, if they're advertising it as get rid of all that buildup, like, okay, so then it's clarifying, I guess. And as we all know, it's very good for your hair to use a clarifying shampoo all the time. All the just time. Regularly. It's it's really, really healthy and definitely doesn't cause breakage at all. Like twice a day, <laughs> you know. Yeah. God. If this was like some sort of maybe exfoliating, like it could have- Yeah, you know, that could help. Yeah, Rubbed it all off, but that's not gonna stop it from coming back. Right, it'll come back. That would at least do more than this was doing. Right. She's gonna have more dandruff like this evening. <laughs> like two nights. You know what? You know what? Here's the other thing is that they always like to say that nothing you put on your hair is going to make it fall out. It's all from the inside. So why isn't it the same in their narrative as dandruff? Because dandruff yeah. can be hormonal. It can be all this stuff, but oh, you're gonna cure right. it with fucking Monet that you put on yeah. top of your head. Isn't that from the inside? Are you eating this shit? Yeah. <laughs> she, you, like the camera like pans out and she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Listen, I don't put the Huns eating anything 
off the table because I've seen them have the essential oils they're not supposed to eat and they eat them. They won't stop eating them. So who knows? You're, uh, you're right. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, you know, they would probably say, you know what? While we're on the topic of rejuvenation. What is it? What is that? What does it consist of? I've never looked. A bunch of essential oils uh, and coconut oil too. Here, let, I can pull it up. Hang on. I'm just banging my head on the desk here. <laughs> Okay, you do that. Of course it's essential oils. Of course it is. Of course it is. Okay. I cannot um. believe it is $99. Oh, yeah. You know what? If you're a market partner, you get it for 84 So, I mean, it's not that oh, bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you just scroll up to the sign up player, yep. please? Yep. Then? Because I want to sign up. the We're fuck up. up. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just like ended up signing up for Mon 8 together? Everyone would be so disappointed. Just call us Kimberly. And then and then I'd have to go, $6,000. That's how much I made being a bully. I guess the first okay. ingredient is meadow foam seed oil. Like, seed oil? what the fuck is okay. meadow foam? I don't know. Ooh, it's, it's, got, it's got tomato oil. It's got oh. tomato seed oil. Oh. oh! And we got lemon peel oil! So this is what we need to do. We need to start a feud between Monet and Dota. Era by being like, oh my god, they're <laughs> copying you. Bergamot is disgusting. You know, for the longest time I thought that I didn't like tea, but then I learned that I actually just don't like English people because they make Earl Grey. That's disgusting. <laughs> I actually bergamot, really yeah. like the smell of bergamot. Really? It smells good. Yeah, I just don't like drinking it. I guess because I'm not a hun. What I want to know is why do any of these things do anything for your hair? Like on what grounds? It, well, on no grounds, but they would all say that there are grounds because you know Monet has done some studies. That is true. They've studied a thing. I don't know if you know this, but they've done independent studies. Their products have walked past a scientist before. Did you know they unveiled a poster at the World Congress for Hair? Oh my goodness. And also, what what is it? The National Hair Loss Association, which yeah. is a, a med spa. Uh-huh. In, in Arizona. Endorses them. It has four articles on their website. I don't know if you know this, Mac, but there's four articles selling Monet on their website, so therefore they are endorsed. Also, the Hanbot that must work there, good on her. That was <laughs> smart. She's making a shitload of money. She probably made like $30. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She sold one thing of Rejuvenique, and there you go. Here's $30 and no more for you. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> Stupid God, these people. Well, so hey, we're practically Hunbots. We're having a Zoom call. Oh my God, shit. Now we have to join Mane. That's it. Join now. We, let's we, go. we, we, we just... really do. Here's what I don't understand. So, presumably, people hear this list of essential oils and they think, great. But I'm I'm like, why do you say great? Like, have you heard that these particular oils help hair? Like, or are you just hearing a bunch of natural sounding things? That's exactly. Like, oh, well then it must be good. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't get it. I'm just like, okay, so it has all those things and. Uh -huh. It 100% is that. I will say that coconut oil is great for popping popcorn. Is it? Yes, it's so good for popping popcorn. Let's pop our popcorn with Rejuvenate. Yeah, I'm gonna use essential oils to do it now. Ew, that would be the most expensive bag of popcorn you ever have. Isn't it the red clover in Monate that makes people's hair fall out? The red clover is supposedly the stuff that like causes hormonal dysfunction in women. Yeah. Could it also be the lemon oil that's in there? Oh, I don't know. Lemons are natural, Mac. Yeah, those are natural. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. Like I for <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> but you know what though? Like I know for example, like I can't have grapefruit because of the medication I'm on, my SSRI. Right, yeah, because yeah. that's a CYP3A4 inhibitor. Uh-huh, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like, so if grapefruit has stuff like that and that's natural, it can affect different things in my body. Yeah. Lemon can probably do shit too to other things. I don't know. I would think so. You don't really know what's in there. It's not like anyone checks to see like what's in money. No one cares. They spent a hundred dollars on that bottle. They don't care. As long as they're I making I can't money. believe that is a hundred dollars. I know. Oh, th here's a really quick one. Uh, since we're talking about Rejuvenique. This one I oh. just called Monate Toe. I endorse the use of this product. <laughs> Proprietary blend of 13 different essential oils, uh, amino acids, and antioxidants. Couple Ooh, drops. Is that soothing? You know what? Madam? All the pain went away. <laughs> It all just went away. Does she have a broken toe or something? It looks infected. It was like swollen. Uh -oh. And they were just putting a uh, rejuvenate <sighs> oil. Like, and they were laughing. So I'm sure that they were like, it's I... a joke. But her toe was really 
it was in flames. It looked, it looked very gnarly. It looked very swollen. Like that part was not a joke. They literally put Rejuvenique on her swollen ass toe. Yeah, like that's got, that can't be good. Like, no, like you can't. Oh, I know that she said the pain went away, but girl, I think that pain's gonna be back very soon. Right. Like that's gonna be very irritating right. for like an already like inflamed thing. And this stuff's not sterile. Yeah. You do not want to get an infection under your nail. Ooh, no, you do not. Cause that's like one of the few ways where an infection can go straight into your bloodstream. Oh fuck, really? That's scary. Yeah, if it gets if it goes like underneath like the nails. And then like, you get like sepsis from, like, cut, and then like, right you here. just like straight up die. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, that was my full body knot. I mean, I'm not saying that's definitely gonna happen, but I'm just like, ooh, like your toenail is angry. Like, don't irritate it more. Like, don't push it in there. Monet, here's an idea. Maybe don't hey, don't do that. The old classics like rubbing alcohol, they still work. Uh-huh. They still work. Neosporin. <laughs> Neosporin. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. I, for I forgot that Neosporin is not natural. Yeah, so therefore it is not, it's not on the list of Hun approved products. Here's the thing <laughs> is most antibiotics, they technically are of natural origin because it's not stuff that people chemically came up with. It's stuff that either funguses or bacteria came up with because they're little mean girls to each other. They like come up with things to kill the other ones. They're like- <laughs> It's a circle of life, dude. Like, <laughs> like penicillin. Penicillin came from a mold yeah. that was like, I'm gonna kill these bacterial bitches. Right, right. But no, but let's get rid of the mold using these. So that's like, natural too, but you know, it, how is it any less natural than lemon oil? I don't know. This is so upsetting. Why, why? Why would you have something that happened to your toe and you're like, can we put oils on this? In some of these other Hun Science videos, I know I did one where some girl was in like some rollerblading accident or something and like busted up her leg. I think I saw that. Was it Rejuvenique she put on there? Wasn't she like super anxious about it too? Yeah, she was like putting it on her skin, but like not on the actual wound. And she was like, see, look, it doesn't hurt. And it's like, put it on the wound. I dare you, Karen. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, it doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> but does it work though? About that. Um, and I really don't understand if they're trying to say that this will make it heal faster. Does it disinfect yeah. it? Because Rejuvenique is a hair oil. Yeah. <laughs> What if your hair gets infected? Like, what is the mechanism of how this is working in their mind? Are they claiming it's killing the infection? I don't Are they know. claiming it's bringing? I don't. I don't understand. I just don't understand that. I don't either. I know they were laughing, but like, there's got to be a point to this video. Yeah, yeah. No, like they were clearly joking. Like, haha, this is so funny. We're putting rejuvenique on my toe, but like that part wasn't a joke. They actually did it. Yeah, exactly. Like that's not inherently funny. It's not something you would just think of like just for kicks. Like, but I guess people people are doing it. So there's two more I want to go through with you. And this goes through what we were talking about early about Mane with hair regrowth, I guess, if you will. Oh my God. Now, I'm already upset. The, <laughs> these videos are a little bit longer. So if you need to stop me, if you have something to say, you just let me know. Okay. It's a lot. Also, I had a third one of these like saved and then I went to go get it today and it was gone. So I think the Mane Hun who posted it uh, blocked me. Oh my so God. I don't know, I don't know who it me, was. I but was it's so not... excited the first time that happened. I was like, ha, ah, they blocked me and I don't even, I never even talked to them. Yeah, I just had their, whoever, I don't even know who it was, but I just had this video saved in my Instagram and then it's gone. It's bye bye. It was a good one too, uh, I'm so sad. But anyway, we got plenty, plenty of contradictory shit to go on you'll, here. So. You'll need to make a Finstagram. All right, hello everyone. I am back and I'm ready to give you guys some facts about hair shedding, okay? I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of these articles circulating. You know what, I'm not even saying it when circulating because it doesn't even matter. The only thing that's circulating is new blood flow into your hair follicle. And I'm gonna show you guys how. All right. So Mane is amazing. I don't sell it because I sell it. I sell it because I love it. I use it. My she hair is amazing. It it's changed it. the hair of all my friends, my family members. Literally, I wouldn't be putting my personal brand on something if I didn't believe in it, right? So when it comes to hair shedding and, you know, I guess the natural shed cycle, guys, what happens is you guys are using products from the drugstore. They have parabens. They have um silicones waxes all of this causes your uh, follicle to get clogged okay so i'm going to do my best and show you guys what it's like by uh using some lotion all right so this is the buildup inside your follicle very scientific shit here 
Why is lotion in my hair? <laughs> why is your hair a straw? We are back in it puts the lotion on the hair. <laughs> <laughs> or else it gets hair the straw. Well. <laughs> no. Yeah. The buildup isn't just at the pore, okay? I want you guys to understand that the buildup actually goes inside of the pore, all right? So well, if you guys can see here, this is your strand. Okay, this is your strand of hair. And here is the blood vessel. When your hair is connected to the blood vessel, it is healthy. It has a lifespan of anywhere from two to seven years, depending on how healthy you are on the inside, not anything else. On okay? the inside. Because hair loss has a lot to do. And not anything with your else. Hormones, your diet, your exercise, your genetics, all of that. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is not connected to the blood vessel down here. All right? right. So what is holding it in? It's not anything except for the buildup. Okay. So then what happens what? when you start to use money products? Okay. When you begin to use money products, and the reason why this happens guys is because money is a water soluble product. All right, other brands like this are like Aveda, Honest Beauty. Those are all amazing brands. Why? Because it's going to remove the buildup and the environmental toxins caused right here, as you guys can see. Okay, let me put more buildup in there. There we go. All right, awesome. So as you guys can see, this is the space, right? Now, this is going to be the new little bulb of hair that is going to grow once this comes out, right? Because you start washing with Monet products. It's going to clean up the buildup. Are you following? You better be following. Okay. The buildup is clean. Then guess what? Once the buildup is clean. I'm following I just can't believe it. Falls <coughs> out, it's because this is actually coming in. The new little hair bob. Okay. And then guess what? <laughs> you will have new hair growth eventually. But you will never have the hair growth if you don't get rid of the buildup. All right. <laughs> The hair can't fall from before, guys, because the buildup is holding it in, all right? So it takes a while to remove it. Sometimes it takes up to three months because of all of the stuff that you have in there, all right? So your hair will now start to grow again once the shedding is, I mean, once the buildup is gone. And just like that, guys, this is the natural shed cycle. You're supposed just to like be that. shedding anywhere from 50 to 100 strands of hair every single day. I hope this visual <laughs> representation made sense to you. If you have any questions and you want me to hook you up because you're tired of having buildup and you want some healthy long hair because at the end of the day, oh. if your hair is locked in by buildup, guess what? Your hair's not gonna grow. It's not gonna grow any further. That's why you guys have hair that can't grow past a certain length. I know it used to happen to me instead of, until I started using these products. So. If you guys need any help, feel free to reach out, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Mac? That was a completely a scientific demonstration. That was a visual aid and it was a completely scientific. Okay, so let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. My hair uh -huh. is not connected to the follicle anymore. No, no, mm -mm. No. So it's like little strands. My hair is basically a weave and it's glued in by like the residue it built up. Yes, yes, precisely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that, oh, okay. That makes total sense. So that's why people's hair falls out in clumps. The only reason I have all of this hair on my head uh, is because of the buildup. <laughs> <laughs> Does she actually think that? They all think this. They straight up all <sighs> think this, Mac. They think, and, and you, you heard oh her God. even say, she's like, sometimes it can take up to three months. And that first three months is usually when people drop out because they start losing hair. And it starts breaking <sighs> off and their hair starts getting damaged after three months of using Monet. And she's trying to say, no, 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 that's natural. That's totally natural. I'm just dissolving the glue that's holding your hair in. Yeah, like that's pretty much what they're saying. And, and I have what? no, okay, listen. I have no doubt in my mind that maybe like buildup might prohibit some kind of hair. I don't know. It probably does something negative. Right. However, I don't think.
think that it does what she thinks it does. That it is the only thing holding your hair in at this point. Let me clarify. Yes, she said that the hair had detached from the blood supply and yeah. it's just sitting there. And you know Glued what? in. Mm hmm by, by uh, silicone, I guess. How strong do you think these residues are? Like, how strong of a glue are they? You know they put super glue in every hair like, product you buy from the like, drug store. Uh, that is some strong product. All this build up. Maybe it's because my hair is too short. I don't know. I got build up too, baby. That is so stupid. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty dumb. Also, hair is straw now too. Straw is hair. You got the mommy hair and then you got the little baby oh, hair. Oh no, excuse me. Toothpick is hair. Your toothpick is hair. Hair. <laughs> straw is your is your follicle. Straw is follicle. Toothpick is hair. And she's like, it closes your pores. And I'm like, okay, so does it close your pores or does it close the follicle? Because I feel like those aren't the same thing. Pores are where you like sweat from and shit, right? Not shit. You don't shit from your pores. I'm sure you have pores in your scalp, but like, is that that's not the same as like a hair follicle? Yeah, I think they're two different things. Uh, that's my understanding of it. It just boggles my mind how someone can actually think that your hair has separated. And it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there attached by the residue. If that was true, fine, fucking stay there. My hair looks great. Yeah, <laughs> like it looks like, what? what's the problem? I don't see an issue with it. I'm not getting like ingrown hairs or anything. My hair is growing. And you just know when it causes that breakage, they're going to see those little hairs like where it parts. They're going to be like, oh, see, that's your new hair growing. And it's like, a uh, girl. Dude, I, I actually saved a, let me see if I can pull it up on my Instagram because that was one of the, like a file that I saved from them too. It's like a picture of some girl. See that? That is, that's breakage. That's, yeah. It just says, damn baby hairs. No, those aren't baby hairs. You're not growing new hairs. No, you're not. But they try to say that they are. This girl like rubbed a balloon on her head and was like, look at all this new growth. They're all that different lengths. Oh, no. That's, yeah. Like, why wouldn't they be like similar lengths? Right. That's where your hair has broken, girl. Stop using whatever you're using. <laughs> money. It's money. Number one, why would, why would they be different lengths? Mm-hmm. They would be different lengths if it's breaking. Yeah, exactly, because that's what it is. You don't get new hair. But they say you do. Oh, well, it's true then. The Manehan said. It's clinically scienced. It's clinically scienced in our independent studies. <laughs> Here's the thing. With these cosmetic companies, when they do clinical studies, it's always like 10 people. And then they report the results as like hair was 34% shinier. And it's like, what is 34%? What is the shiny scale? What is the reference? I don't know. Yeah, or it'll be like 80% of people who tried this product had younger looking skin and it's like okay was it like dramatically younger looking or was it 80% younger looking or was it just 80% of people were like yeah I guess my skin looks better. Does like, she look 80% of the age that she looked before she used the product? I would buy that. If she's 100 years old and she looked 80% younger does she look 20 now? Is that how that works? She would look hot. <laughs> baby hairs for baby people. Exactly it's like Benjamin Button shit going on. You you're just aging in reverse now at this point with rejuvenating. That's where Monet got the idea. Oh my God, it all comes full circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have one more to show you. I'm so excited. And it, um, just remember everything we just watched, right? And then listen to uh, what this girl says and try to tell yes. me that they all have their shit together and everything makes sense and they all have the same information and science. Well, 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 I already thought that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, then this shouldn't be an issue then. <laughs> scalp, um, our skin actually sees it and is readily absorbing it because of the molecular makeup. And because of that, it can um, have the capability of taking the hair and actually almost like a glue and reconnecting it back to the blood supply, which is so important because that's how you get growth. It needs to be connected. Your hair strand has to be connected to a blood supply in order for it to grow. Now, if it's in the catagen phase, because there's multiple phases to your hair while it's growing, while it's being um, built up, I keep getting cut off. Um, so that's what causes buildup is whenever your hair is not able to, it's not naturally shedding and it's not making room for new growth and you don't have a healthy head of hair. You have dead hair that's just clinging on by waxes and so oh, she has a live hair and I hope that that makes sense. I do have a visual aid that I'll share um, It doesn't kind of breaks it down just a little bit more, but this is science-based. Okay, it's it's not it's an, a matter of opinion oh, of whether okay. I prefer this oil because I do Cool, right? <laughs> what but prefer this oil over um, other oils like argon coconut um, 
Moroccan that's oil. in your coconut just, oil is in your oil because of the science like it's actually capable of doing more than just sitting on the surface of your hair and creating shine because that's all the oils are doing that aren't able to actually get to the the inside of your hair. I like shiny hair. Heal it. Me too. Um so yeah, super important, best product, holy grail for a reason. Okay. Uh so let's unpack. Yeah, let's unpack this a little bit. So she says that Monate can reattach a hair to the blood supply. Which is what it needs to grow. Mm -hmm. So what she's saying is it's almost like making your hair little zombie strands. is bringing them back to life and making them grow more even though they have already detached. Which makes me concerned because it's so close to my brain already. <laughs> you know, zombies. <laughs> now, oh my god. That's where they get their science from. <laughs> The zombies eat their brain. Their brains are just one big hairball now at this point. So it reattaches the blood supply, mm -hmm. which turns your dead hair mm -hmm. into alive hair. Zombie hair. Yeah, yeah. Zombie hair. Okay. Precisely. Now you're getting it. You know what? Here's the problem, too, is that this girl was speaking very matter-of-factly. Like, she seems... I hate that. I know. And it's like, anyone who's listening to that who doesn't know any better, who doesn't know how fucking ridiculous that sounds... Yeah. ...would be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Logically, it works. It's just that that is empirically not true. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, the it's, the it's hair like... is no longer in your follicle. The wirings are just barely touching it. Oh, oh, oh thank you, God. rejuvenate! <laughs> it's like jump-starting a car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. The battery, the battery in your hair strands your hair. died, all right? And then you need rejuvenate to jumpstart it again. Oh my God, I bet I could totally make up some Hun science sometime. I could be like, see, it's it's a matter of the electrical charge in your hair. So see if I rub this balloon here, see how my hair does this? That's why I need to use this ionically charged shampoo. See, it's the same kind of thing. Like if you just say a bunch of nonsense, like yeah, it sounds okay. You make it sound like it's a hard thing to do. They say up here and they make up shit all day long. I'm pretty That's sure it's easy. Good point. That's not really a skill. I can't believe, like, I thought everybody knew that hair was not alive, but apparently that's not the case. So do they actually believe that like your hair is like out of the follicle now, like or something? That's why it's not growing? I think so. They're they're trying to say that it's like lodged in there. Okay, so the one video I was telling you about that the person apparently blocked me, that was showing so basically this person put celery in water and then froze it and said that the celery is the hair strand, right? Are you following? And then as it started melting, it was loosening it up and then eventually the celery came out. And that's what happens when you use money. Yeah, that <laughs> happens when I put my head in the freezer, but like... <laughs> when I put my hair wrapped in celery in the freezer, yeah, of course <laughs> that happens. Like, uh, no! <laughs> uh. Listen, as a skier, every time I go out there and ski when it's cold out, I come home, my hair thaws, and then it falls out. Yep. <laughs> And then it turns into or, celery. And, or it grows it grows long and lustrous, one or the other. And then it all falls out because you're not using yes. money. I think we've learned so much about hair. I mean, they seem to have an answer for everything, don't they? I almost admire it if it weren't such bullshit to take advantage of people. Like I would I would almost be like, wow, you're really good at spinning. So some of it is like you take that fucking apple chick and it's like, who finds any value in this? Because this makes no sense. How do you even make that connection? I don't know, but she fucking did. But then like like, you look at people like this and she's using words like what she say like chirogenic or some shit I don't even know what that yeah. means what, what does that mean it's I don't know what some face I feel like she doesn't like what I don't know but she talks about it in that way she sounds very scientific she says this is science based which what does that even mean First of all, what is science based? What is science based? Right. No, this is unicorn based. Well, you know how like when you see like a pharmaceutical ad, Pfizer comes out and they're like, this is science based, you guys. It's science based. It's science based. They don't go into like results or anything. They're just like, it's science. I promise. I, I'm telling you right now, like I don't have the studies on hand, but it is science based. You can trust like, me. Like, just trust me. It's the florpogenic enzymes that are chipping away at your cuticle apparatus. To anyone who doesn't know those words. Yeah, you're just like, oh, okay, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds right. I want my hair to stay in my head. Said it prevented that thing and that definitely sounded bad. So yeah, sure. Yep. And he was speaking so authoritatively. Anyone can see 
sound like that. Sounds like she really buys her own bullshit. But like, where does she learn this shit from? Especially because this completely contradicts what the last Hun said. And the fact that you will hear so many different Huns from so many different teams say the same weird logic that I've never heard from any, anyone that was not in Mon 8 suggests to me that it is coming from somewhere high up, which suggests to me that then they're responsible for whatever this is. Somewhere high up, that place is Jesus. Because Mon 8 is a gift from God. Mon 8 is Jesus and apple and toothpick. It's science, it's in the Bible. <laughs> Stew, chapter one. I wish I I had time to edit more <laughs> so I could I show you more, well, but shit. Well, then we'll, we'll just have to have a sequel. Oh, shit. You mean we have to do this again? Mm. No. Oh, no. There is plenty of Hun Science videos out there. I will continue to save them. They just don't stop. That is both depressing and exciting. I know. They don't, <laughs> they don't stop this shit, dude. They just like keep coming out with new shit. They put Mane on apples and bread. And I'm like, why? Their bullshit science is it's a hydra. You cut off one airhead and like two airheads grow back. But thanks for being here, friend. Uh, thanks for- Of course. Thanks for sitting through all my- uh, Dumb hun shit. I enjoyed. And thanks for being I'll, I'll, yeah. on my channel. Of course. <laughs> well, that was fun. Before we end this video, first of all, thank you again to Verb Energy for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to take advantage of their 65% off starter pack deal going on for the next four days. You, you can use my link down below to take advantage of that. And after Memorial Day, it's back up to its regular price. So take advantage of it now, dudes. It's worth it, I promise. Less than nine bucks for, what was it, like 16 energy bars? Come on, it's like 16 shots of espresso, except it tastes better. And while we're thanking people, I guess it's time to thank my patrons patrons and my YouTube members. And if you want to be a part of the list I'm about to read, the list of people who are about to scroll before your eyes, you can either go to patreon.com slash Savannah Marie, or you can click the join button at the bottom of this video. It's just whatever platform works best for you. They're both generally the same thing, but we have a private discord server. I have a postcard club. Whenever I'm able to, I give you guys early access to videos and merch deals and stuff. By the way, I have new merch. You can find that down below. I'm really excited about it. It's super cute. But yeah, if any of that sounds good to you, check out all that shit down below support your girl also i was just looking and it says throughout my entire lifetime on patreon i've sent out 148 postcards which is a lot and i have so much fun with it so thank you to everyone who's in my postcard club that's a lot of postcards yeah <laughs> but i put stickers on them and write little personal messages and stuff it's it's really fun so uh, anyway the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to amanda mcmahon elizabeth wyatt eve blondo meredith nakata molly wasalewski alice w april Lindblom, boris geller Katrina Rosemarek, Daniel Urena, E. Higgins, Erica Lauder-Craddock, Evan Adler, Jerry Duncan, Kelly Creffield, Kim Cartwright, Laura Lynn Martin, Maddie Darley, Rachel McHenry, Samantha Jackson, Tuesday the 13th, Vamp Faye, Abigail Hansen, Fallon Lowry, Sabrina Franklin, and Julia Niebrodowski, and to the rest of my fabulous financial supporters, thank you so much for being here, for being you, and even if you're not a financial supporter of mine, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I seriously super duper appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to Mac Attack, check out Verb Energy, and keep making waves, babes. I will smell you all later. Mommy Tsunami, out. I've been Mac. Peace out. Bye!